What's going on YouTube? It's Mike here. Today guys in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Kivo Smart Lock by Quickset. So this product comes from Quickset, the famous key and deadbolt company you've known for years. It's called the Kivo and it's known as the Key Evolved. Basically, it's a smart deadbolt that will replace any regular deadbolt that you currently have on any door leading to your house or whatever building it may be. And I've had a couple weeks to play with it, and so far I'm absolutely loving it. So today in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a full video, quick unboxing. We'll open up the package, take a closer look at it, and we're even going to install it on my front door, and you guys are going to see firsthand me testing it out. So right here we're opening up the packaging. Uh, as you can see here, it's very simple. You uh, obviously cut the seal off and open it up. We're greeted with a few things in here. The front and back of the deadbolt and the actual key fob that you can use aside from using your actual smartphone to open your front door, back door, whatever it may be. And that's the aspect that I really love of this deadbolt and that's why I'm reviewing it on the channel to begin with because you can use literally your iPhone to unlock your house. It is super cool and it's much better even in person than it sounds than you see on video. You guys are going to really like how this looks as I'm loving it so far. So instead of me showing you everything in the box, I wanted to keep everything organized and I brought the Kivo back to my house since I couldn't change the locks on my office since I'm renting the place and I figured that I'd replace my very, very old, uh, very old deadbolt bolt on my front door and we're going to show you exactly how to do that now. So I started by taking out the old deadbolt and I sped it up for you guys a little bit here. It was very simple to do, it probably took me two minutes. I just took the old deadbolt out, very simple and easy like that. And as you can see, there's already a hole there pre-cut so I didn't have to do any drilling. This process should max take you 10, 20 minutes to actually install the entire deadbolt on. And as you can see here, I put the new piece of the deadbolt on and I actually had to cut this because I had to kind of open up the opening for the deadbolt a little bit more because it wouldn't fit exactly to the point where it would lock and unlock. But I didn't even have to use a saw for that. I just had to shove the screwdriver in a couple times uh, through the side of the door and it made a hole bigger enough. Now after you put the deadbolt piece in, you'll want to feed the front of the deadbolt through. That's the one that you could put the keys into and feed the wires through and you'll kind of guide it in. It's very easy to do. Then I grabbed the manual keys that ship with the Kivo and back and forth I opened and closed the lock just to make sure that things were running smooth. And sure enough, as you can see with the manual keys, because it does come with manual keys, it was opening fine. Now from that point, you're going to actually take the back plate that ships with it and there's a little diagram that shows you exactly how to feed the wires through that will connect to the back housing. Next, you want to grab the little bag of screws that ships with the Kivo and uh, based on how thick your door is, which in this case mine was a little bit thicker, um, you'll either pick the brass or the silver screws. So the silver screws weren't long enough and I had to go with the brass ones because um, they just wouldn't cut it. So um, once you pick those out, you'll go ahead and put them in both holes and you just kind of screw them in and it'll keep everything together, including the front deadbolt assembly, uh, the frame for the back that'll hold the back piece in and you can run the wires through that and you're pretty much just about set to go uh, for full installment. So you'll have that in there, make sure it's nice and tight, and then you'll want to grab your uh, rear deadbolt assembly. Now this actually has a plastic cover that slides off, and this is the piece that you're going to connect, you're going to set up to uh, calibrate your phone and everything else with the deadbolt and everything. You're going to want to go ahead and pull out the battery pack, stick the batteries that come in with the Kivo, and put them in. It's really cool, they ship four batteries with it. Uh, put them in, and then there should be a little green indication light, you'll hear that beeping noise. And then all you have to do from there, it's very simple, you just connect the two wires, um, to the back assembly that fed through the door from the front assembly and you can kind of guide them in there's a little diagram and you can also look in the manual as well that kind of shows you exactly where to place the wires so that they'll hold in place and then you'll kind of position it on the frame that you screwed in with those two brass or silver bolts uh, and once that's in you'll use the final two screws that ship with the Kivo um, to actually hold the piece in place and then you're absolutely set it's done uh, from this point on all you need to do is calibrate um, the actual key fob or your phone if you want as you can see, I calibrated the key fob here that came with it. You press the little button on the inside of the key fob, and then it's as simple as that. It calibrates itself, and I'm able to lock and unlock my door with the key fob. Now, obviously, the coolest part about the Kivo is being able to use your iPhone or any smartphone, for that matter, um, to unlock your front door, back door, whatever it may be. So I set up my phone with it, and as you can see here, um, it's already beginning to open and close my door. And this is a very simple calibrating process um, with the phone. There's a button on the back that you press to program it, and it's very simple. It works like that. So, for example, as you can see, my door here is open. Hold my phone up to it. All I do is tap the lock, and just like that, it'll blink once and confirm that it locked. And you'll see that I try to open my door and it's definitely locked and it kind of shows like an amber light to confirm that. 
Then I'll hold my phone up again and tap the lock. It'll roll a couple times and then it'll beep twice and blink green to confirm that the door is open. It's as simple and as cool as that. It's probably the coolest innovative thing that I've ever used in my life before. This is so simple and it makes opening my front door so much easier and more convenient. I don't have to pull out keys anymore. I leave the key fob or my phone in the pocket and it's as simple as that. I love it so much so far. And once you go out of range within literally one or two feet, the Kiva will recognize that you're not nearby, so you don't have to worry about anybody following you into your house or someone jumping right into your house after you walk out. The Kiva definitely knows when you're nearby and when you're not, which is a great safety feature, and that's kind of worries that are taken away that I'm sure people worry about uh, with this thing, of course. But other than that, so far I'm really enjoying the Kivo and what it has to offer, whether I'm using uh, the key fob or my phone itself, whichever is more nearby. Sometimes it'll pick up on the key fob or my phone if I have the app open. Both work great and really smooth, and I really appreciate this lock a lot. But anyways, there you go, guys. That is the Kivo Smart Lock Deadbolt by Quickset. Like I said, it's got my seal of approval. I love it so far. I'll leave a link down in the description so you guys could go check it out. By the way, this is in the Venetian bronze finish. They offer a bunch. So uh, with that link, definitely go check everything out. Shout out to the guys from Quickset who sent this one out uh, as a review unit for me to test out and show you guys. Um, of course, if you like this video, please be sure to leave some comments below on your thoughts. Of course, rate, give this video a thumbs up, and click the subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.